Okay, let's see. Let's see who's on my nightly. Hmm. Swipe left. Uh, swipe right. Sorry, not left. Hmm. Pretty. Wait, what was that? Apparently, I'll learn to love their terrible singing. Nah, swipe right. Hi, I could like you. Nah, swipe left. <laughs> Oh, yes. Still got some monster there from yesterday. Star Wars Day! Snapchat at the moment. Um, in fact, I might, I might check Instagram instead at the moment. Just, just flick through Instagram really, see what's been going. I don't know why Instagram's not loading. There we go. Now it's loaded. So I'm just having a flick through social media at the moment, really. Um, yeah, I've just finished watching EastEnders as well. So. Um, yeah, because I didn't watch Thursday or Friday's episodes from last week, so I've decided to catch up uh, on EastEnders uh, from last week via the BBC iPlayer. Um, and, yeah, so I think I might catch up on Britain's Got Talent from last weekend, because there is a new episode on tonight, which I don't know if I'll probably might not watch it tonight. I might watch it maybe Monday or something, catch up on tonight's episode on monday or tuesday somewhere between then but i might catch up on um last weekend's episode of britain's got talent from well last weekend uh on the itv hub right now so it is uh saturday night i am just about to get myself ready for bed now um so what i'm just about to do is i'm just about to shut my curtains um so here we go we shut my curtains good night Good night, well, see you tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's not shut properly. Yeah, there we go, that's better. Um, and now I'm just about to find some PJs and get my PJs on um, because obviously I'm going off to bed. I think there might be some in here somewhere. Well, actually, hold on. There's some up here, isn't there, somewhere? Yeah, blue top. Blue top. I uh, just need to find some. Oh, I see some PJ bottoms in my ironing, so I'm going to put this away tomorrow, I think. Anyway, I'm heading off to bed. Good night from me. Speak again tomorrow. <sighs> Hi, guys, by the way. It's Sunday afternoon. I have just got home from work. I'm still in my work uniform at the moment, um, but I'm just about to get out of my work uniform. I'm completely knackered, by the way. Oh, after that long shift. Completely knackered. Um, so, 
It's been a long shift. I did six till two today, so it was an eight hour shift. I'm doing seven till four tomorrow. But I don't mind because it's bank holiday Monday, so you know, get paid a little bit more on a bank holiday, which is good. Um, anyway, I am going to put my ironing away that's currently on my bed because I've had some ironing um, today given to me. So I'm going to put my ironing away that's on my bed at the moment. And you know what? I'm going to take a nap before I have to go out and watch Avengers Endgame. Because that's today. Today is the day. So don't spoil the Endgame. Yeah, you know, stuff. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I am just about to do right now. Sorry, I was just, um, oh, that smells so much better. My, I just wanted to make my mouth smell a bit freshy and more minty and stuff. So I thought I'd uh, just uh, swirl my mouth around with some mouthwash. Anyway, um, so I've just had a shower. I've got dressed, put some deodorant on, smell lovely. Um, and I'm just about to get my jacket on because I'm about to go out and see my friend and watch Avengers Endgame! So I'm about to do that right now. Before I go though, I've got a quick fact to tell you. And that is that um, I've just seen a, a post via Lad Bible. Apparently, Avengers Endgame is the second highest grossing film of all time. It's just taken over Titanic. We're not sure yet whether or not it's going to overtake the all-time highest grossing film ever, which is Avatar. Could it possibly happen? Who knows? We'll probably find out by the end of the week. But anyway, I'm about to head off now and watch Avengers Endgame. Bring it to me, Thanos! Bring it to me! Well, good morning to you all, and thanks for joining us this Bank Holiday Monday. And as a new week dawns, we have another fresh new look for you from our resident artist, Rubina Aurangzeb Tariq, taking on the challenge. To find out more, search ITV Creates for all the details. Now, let's get the week off to a great start as we join all the gang on Good Morning Britain. Another group of male celebrities are put through their paces in the all-new Monty Who Bears Wins tonight at 9 o'clock. Such a great cause. But now on ITV, we're live with the Loose Women. Find out if the people of Blackburn take the cash on the table or gamble at the auction in Dickinson's Real Deal this afternoon at 3. The courtroom's where we're heading now, though, for today's Judge Rinder. Wearing nothing but their hearts on their sleeves. So we've Alexander Armstrong, a Love Island winner, Jack Fincham and a host of stars as you've never seen them before. The all-new Monty is tonight at nine. Now on ITV, Revelations in Emmerdale. Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Monday's part of the weekly vlog. Uh, it is Monday afternoon, bank holiday Monday, can I say as well, uh, because it is May Day bank holiday. We've got two bank holidays this month. Um, I'm just going to put my phone on charge, actually. Um, so, yeah, so it's basically um, May Day bank holiday. We've got this bank holiday today, and we've got the... Uh, spring bank holiday, I think it is, uh, on, is it May 27th? Possibly May 27th. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I'm just currently oh, struggling to get my work jacket off. There we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, anyway, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yes, anyway, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, last night, okay? Uh, so the last thing that you guys just saw was me uh, basically telling Thanos to come at me. 
Um, well, anyway, last night I went out to the cinema to go and watch Avengers Endgame. Finally went to go and see it. Went and saw it with a friend of mine last night. You know, um, she found it funny. I found it funny. Um, you know, uh, what else? You know, um, I enjoyed it. She enjoyed it. Um, oh, I can't even get my work shirt off now. <laughs> oh God, my hands are stuck. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so I enjoyed it. She enjoyed it. I found it funny. She found it funny. Um, and also as well, she sobbed at the end. I had a little tear in my eye as I left the cinema. Um, you know what? I might as well tell you what happens. Might as well. So basically, at the end, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm allowed to spoil it now. I am allowed to spoil it. So in the end of Avengers Endgame, um, Tony Stark, a.k.a. Iron Man, he dies at the end. Um, and the reason why he dies is because of, um, well, because basically, so basically the film is, <laughs> basically the film is about the remaining Avengers from Avengers Infinity War. And they basically go back in time. It's sort of a time traveling type film. They go back in time. They take all the Infinity Stones before Thanos can get it. They go back to the present day. And with a click of a finger, they can undo everything that Thanos did in Infinity War. Anyway, so that's what they do. They have a few like Back to the Future references in it as well, which is kind of funny. You know, um, but yeah, Iron Man dies in it because basically what happens is they have this final battle with Thanos and obviously they're there trying to fight him with the Infinity Gauntlet and there's a few times where Thanos is just about to put the Infinity Gauntlet on and like he's preparing himself to click his finger anyway so Iron Man manages to grab the Infinity Stones from the um, from, from the gauntlet and he you know, he technically just clicks his finger and it undoes every it just undoes everything that happened in Infinity War and stuff and it brings all the Avengers back and all that, you know, so but obviously with that that means that Tony Stark or Iron Man dies, unfortunately. You know, it's such a shame. It's such a sad ending to be honest. And then uh, Captain America gets asked to go back in time after uh, Thanos is defeated and he basically has to go back in time and and you know give back all the infinity stones because now it's not a risk to the universe anymore so that's what he does and while he's back in time he also decides to go forward in time to the future as well when he's old and basically you just see him just sat you know in the present day as an old man you know and it's just such a nice ending you know it really is and it ties up so nicely to the 11 years, 22 movies, 44 hours worth of viewing time of films that Marvel have created this last 11 years, you know. So it's, it was such a nice ending. I really enjoyed it. My friend really enjoyed it as well. She really enjoyed it. I mean, to be honest, I couldn't walk properly after the film had ended, literally. I was walking like as if, you know, my legs had gone really stiff after watching a three hour long film. Um, but other than that, it was really good, you know. Uh, Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow also died in it as well, because uh, obviously, in order to get the Soul Stone, they had to lose a soul to get the Soul Stone. So obviously, Black Widow decided to die um, in order to get the Soul Stone. So, but it's but it's okay though, because obviously, Black Widow will come back for a prequel film at some point, you know. Um, so yeah, exactly. Anyway, so. Yeah, so I really enjoyed last night. It was really good, um, you know, so really enjoyed it. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to say, really. Ricky Gervais has announced that he has finished the first draft of Series 2 of Afterlife on, well, for Netflix. Today is 15 years ago since Rachel got off that plane for Ross Geller in Friends. That's right, 15 years ago today, 
the last ever episode of Friends aired on TV screens across the world. Turn my Xbox off. Yeah, I'll wear a pink pyjama top tonight, why not? Hi everyone, um, and welcome to Tuesday's part of the weekly vlog. So, I've just got home from work, I've got out my work uniform, and I'm just about uh, to go back out, actually. I'm going to see my sister, because, because, um... I don't know if I should say. You know what? I might say it very quick. I'm going to view some flats. That's right. I'm going to view some flats. I might be potentially moving out. Potentially. I didn't say I'm definitely. Potentially. Depending if I like these flats or not. Um, so, yeah, apparently there's some... There's a place that I might be moving to, which is a little bit closer to where I li where, to where I work. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to undo my shoes. So, my shoes are actually falling apart. I need some new shoes. Um, and, yeah, so, these are, these are literally in tears. So, um, but yeah, so I'm going to be viewing some flats. I'm going to flat view. Uh, some flats and see what I think and see if maybe I do want to move into one or not. I don't know yet um, So it all does depend so but yeah, it'll be very interesting though to see what I'm like living on my own um, You know even I would be very interested to know what it's like to be living on my own without anyone Anyway, maybe I might survive who knows um, Anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm just about to do right now. So I'm just about to head on out so it's Tuesday night, I have got home from seeing my sister and I viewed this flat, um, it's quite nice actually, it's not too bad, it's furnished, you know, it's got a bed in it and stuff and yeah, you know, it, rent's not too bad on it neither, um, you know, um, yeah, so I think I might go for it, I think I will, what I'm, I mean, you know, what I will do to be honest, is, you know, I can only see, really, as to whether or not, you know, I'm I'm ready. Whether or not I'm ready to get out there, you know, be independent and stuff like that. You know, um, you know, it, it, it will be quite good, I think, you know, and like my sister says, she's literally going to be upstairs from me and... You know, she'll support me with doing things like the shopping and, you know, cook and helping me with cooking food and all of that, you know. So, you know, there is a long journey to go, I know. But, you know, I think with my sister's help and even my support worker, Fabio, who I see once a week as well, you know, even with his help as well, you know, I think I will do, I think I will do well, you know. I really will. So, anyway, um... So moving on from that, and um, I have had my dinner. I had like gammon for dinner, which was nice, with roast potatoes and some uh, roasted carrots and, and parsnips and stuff. It was really nice. Um, and I've also just been watching TV as well uh, downstairs. I've just come upstairs to switch my TV on, though, in my room, uh, because I want to... I might watch something, to be honest. I was going to game tonight on my xbox but to be honest i can't be bothered to game i might game later i don't know um uh, but i might watch something maybe on netflix or something like that so i'll see i'll see what happens really um but yeah so anyway that is my tuesday night and i do apologize that i've not really vlogged that much i know that these links that i've done so far in this week's weekly vlog have been quite long already um and you know, I I know that you know it's taken up quite a lot of the vlog, but 
from tomorrow onwards, I promise there's going to be a lot of things happening, okay, in the weekly vlog, so stay tuned for that. Well, a good morning to you all, and welcome to Wednesday's part of the weekly vlog. It's uh, Wednesday morning, it's midweek, halfway through the week, and I've just woke up and I've just got out of bed. Um, I'm just about to open my curtains. Shall we see what's going on outside? It's looking a bit wet outside today. It is supposed to be raining today as well, all day pretty much. So it's going to be looking a little bit rubbish outside um, today, So, which isn't good. Um, I think I'm going to go and get my, uh, get my chinchillas some food because they're starting to run low on food today. So I'm going to go out and buy them some more food. Um, so I'm going to be doing that very shortly. Um, but what I'm just about to do now is I'm just about to grab some clothes and go into the bathroom. Got my clothes. I'm just going to walk straight into the bathroom right now um, as I'm just about to have a shower. Shower, shut these doors. What a catch. What a catch. Oh. Anyway, that's definitely seen the floor. That was such a catch. So, it is Wednesday afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I just thought I'd, you know, do some door shutting. Uh, it's Wednesday afternoon. I've just got back from seeing my sister. Um, and the reason being is because uh, I went to, well, basically, I walked from my work to my sister's house and to be honest it's not that far it really is not that far um from where i work so to be honest i think i am gonna i'm, I'm definitely i think i'm definitely gonna do this i think it's an opportunity for me to live by myself that's a huge pigeon by the way look at this look at this quick 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 quick, quick. look at that that is a huge pigeon that was. I don't know if you saw that or not. Um, <laughs> that was a huge pigeon. Um, but yeah, so I'm definitely going to... It's an opportunity. Um, it's an opportunity to be independent, you know, to learn... To kind of know what it's like to live on your own a little bit as well. You know, it, it'll be good. It'll be good. You know, it'll be life skills, independency. It's going to teach me a lot. I know it will, and you know what, I'm still going to be doing these weekly vlogs, um, even when I do move, okay, there will still be these weekly vlogs that I will do, you know, and you guys can be part of that journey, I guess you could say, um, of me being on my own, really, you know, um, you know, I reckon, so I, I reckon it's going to be easy, you know, um, sometimes it might be tough a little bit, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I'm just about to make myself a cup of tea anyway. Uh, I've just put my headphones on charge because when I went out earlier to my sister's, when I got the bus to Kinston, my headphones died on me literally as I got up the road on the bus. So, didn't have any music to listen to earlier, which wasn't good, but never mind. Um, other than that... Uh, that's pretty much all I've got to update you on. Anyway, I'll give you another update as soon as I can. Okay, so I just had to go to, oh god, to the shop uh, to go and get some sugar for my cup of tea because I've just made myself a cup of tea. Basically, I just picked up this, which is Coca-Cola Energy. That's what it is. This is Coca-Cola Energy. Okay, I think it's technically an energy drink, but anyway. So earlier, my manager at work, Sam, he decided to send me a photo of this. He said it tastes rats. And apparently um, lem the, va the value lemonade tastes a lot better than what this does. But anyway, I'm going to give this a try a little bit later on in the vlog, I think. Maybe shortly, once I've had my cup of tea or something. But I'm going to give it a go and see what it's like. But it's like £1.10 for a little tiny can that size. Um, or they had the zero sugar one, which was one pound, but I decided to get the full fat Coca-Cola energy 
you know, well, full, yeah, sugar, anyway. Uh, but, yeah, so I'm going to give that a, a, a little well very shortly. Expect to see that very soon. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have welcomed into the world their first child, which is a baby boy, uh, and they have also revealed his name. It's Archie, Archie Harrison, I think his name is. Um, I think that is, yeah, that is that is his name, yeah. Archie Harrison is his name, um, and of course he was born in the early hours of Monday morning. Um, and yeah, he is also, apparently, he could also set to become the first member of the royal family who could potentially become the US president as well as the King of England. So, who knows? But reason being is because obviously... He's half American, half British, because obviously he has half American, because Meghan Markle is American. And of course, Prince Harry, he's British, so that's why he can kind of be, you know, US President and King of England as well. Okay, so it's Wednesday night. I'm going to give this a go, because I'm just about to drink it, this uh, Coca-Cola Energy. So, I'm just opening it. There we go. Oh. Okay, three, two, one, let's try it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. oh, no. No. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Need this water. Need oh, no. No. Oh. Oh, that's rank. That's disgusting. Oh. Oh. Taste of vomit. I'm not even joking. That tastes of vomit. Oh, I'm not buying that ever again. Oh, that's sick. That is, honestly, Coca-Cola, that is sick. Honestly, I don't mind Monster Energy. I don't mind Relentless Energy. But Coca-Cola Energy, no. Just... No. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday morning, and I have just woke up. And guess what the time is at the time of recording this? It's 20 to 12. That's right. I've only just woke up, and it's 20 to 12. Let's see what the weather's doing outside this morning. It's looking a bit bright out there, and a little bit windy as well. So, a uh, bit of an overcast day really, cloudy, sun shines out, a little bit of wind as well, not too bad. Just about to get myself dressed. Hello JJ, hello boy. Oh, I didn't expect you to be here, hello. Oh, good boy. Who's a good boy? You good boy? Yeah? You good boy? Oh, that's a good boy. Oh. Yeah? What? What is it? What is it? Oh, You're too excited, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, you are. You're too excited. Yeah. Oh, good boy. Good boy. <laughs> He's too excited. Oh, Just made myself a cup of tea. I've just got back from uh, dropping my sister off at her house because she's got work today. Um, but I brought JJ back with me because uh, my sister will be staying over again tonight. So JJ has come back with me. He's there on his bed. I don't know if you can see. There he is. Look, cleaning himself out. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so yeah, it's all good. Um, I had some lunch while I was at my sister's. I had some like uh, cheese and broccoli pasta with some frazzle crisps and a banana. I also had a cup of tea while I was over there as well. So yeah, not too bad. Shall I take you for a walk? Look how interested he gets. JJ, shall I take you for a walk? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that concentration on his face. Jay. Shall I take you for a walk? Jay? Shall I take you for a walk? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm actually going to take him for a walk. Come on then. Come on then. 
Good morning everybody and welcome to Friday's part of the weekly vlog. I am just woke up, just about to open my curtains for this morning. And it's looking a little bit cloudy outside, a little bit busy on the road as well. Um, but yeah, and I think I'm just about to go and have a shower and get dressed as well. Currently watching Mr Bean on Netflix through my iPad. Watching the Jeremy Cole show on ITV Hub on my iPad. Yeah, boy. I'm taking your misses. Now, brother, I'm joking. Yeah, boy. I'm taking your misses. No, brother, I'm joking. <laughs> I love this song. Oh, this song's amazing. I'm taking your misses. Oh, damn it, no. Down, down. Da 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 down down down. Show me a part of you. Show me what you've got. The Russo brothers, who directed the films Avengers: Infinity War and Avengers: Endgame, has recently revealed that an early version of the Avengers: Endgame script featured a scene where Thor was fighting an epic battle against himself. Had they have kept that in the script and had they have kept that in the film, then in theory there would have been two fights because uh, in Avengers Endgame, Captain America fights himself from the past and then obviously there would have been Thor versus himself in the past as well. So such a shame they didn't add that into the film to be honest, but... There we go. Anyway, so Avengers Endgame is available in cinemas across, uh, well, uh, well, worldwide right now. So it is Friday afternoon. I've just got back from shopping at Tesco in Castle Lane. And this is what I brought today. So first things first, on Sunday this weekend, I'm going to the cinema uh, to watch a film. So instead of buying popcorn, I've decided to buy some onion rings for the cinema on Sunday and also as well I thought I'd pick up some midget gems as well um, so that yeah again I'm going to take them to watch uh, to see the film with on um, on Sunday I'm going to have those and those while I watch the film on Sunday also picked myself up two packets of Ms Molly's uh, milk chocolate digestive biscuits for my cup of tea as well as a Ms Molly's ginger nuts biscuit as well for my cup of tea Picked up some Blue Spark energy drink, a one pint of uh, semi-skimmed milk, some cheese and broccoli pasta which I'm going to be having for lunch, hence why I've got this little one pint of milk because this one pint of milk is going to be used for this because I haven't got any milk really at the moment. So yes, yeah, so that is going to be my lunch today. Also, without going into detail because I don't really know why I'm meeting him, but I'm seeing my... Uh, support workers manager today uh, for 10 or 15 minutes he said for me to go and meet him um, in Boscombe um, and we're going to sit down have a cup of tea or a coffee or whatnot and we're just going to have a chat for 10-15 minutes I don't know what it's about could be something serious might not be serious might just be overthinking things right now god knows anyway so I'm going to be seeing him very shortly so it's Friday evening and I'm just going to end the weekly vlog here, to be honest. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I was going to do a sketch. <clears throat> a little sketch. Remember a couple of weeks ago on my weekly vlog, I did a sketch, you know, of me pretending to be the CEO of YouTube and obviously me being me as well. And, you know, <laughs> it was a really funny scene, to be honest. I had a lot of praise for that scene. Um, well, I was going to do it again this week, but except for another reason. Um, but I've not been, I've not edited the weekly vlog yet, so can't do it anyway. And 
Yeah, so what I'm going to do is at the start of next week's weekly vlog, I've got something for you guys to enjoy and watch. So make sure you tune in for that. But anyway, that's all from me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be back next week with another weekly vlog. Weekly vlog number 20 from me, though. It's goodbye. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week.